how do you become a crime scene cleaner? So I've been cleaning crime scenes for three years now and you guys keep asking me how do I get a job like this and what does the hiring process look like? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I got the job that I have now and stuff I wish I knew before getting into it that kind of would make the process a lot easier. So first things first is you're gonna wanna get qualified. Before I started cleaning up crime scenes and long before I started making content about it, I had to get qualified in a couple of areas first. Not every company requires certifications in these areas, but most do and they certainly help you stand out and have a very sustainable career in this field. The two certifications that most employers ask for is the HAZWAP certification and the Bloodborne Pathogen Cert. These two are very helpful in actually doing your job well, and it's going to make sure that your boss knows that you know what you're talking about when you're in the interview. The second thing that's going to help a lot is getting relevant work experience. More than likely, you're not going to be spending five days a week doing death cleanup. Chances are you're going to do a lot of restoration work, including hoarding cleanup or mold cleanup and stuff like that. So if you can get some experience doing janitorial work or construction work, that's going to be really helpful for you and showing that your boss that you're capable of doing manual labor. These careers are very physically demanding. And the last thing these guys want to do is hire someone who can barely work a broom. So get some relevant work experience and it's going to take you pretty far. Now, the third part, which is probably just going to be the most tedious, is just applying to companies. You're probably going to get rejected a lot and that's okay. The first thing you're going to want to do is just find companies who offer this type of service to begin with. If I really wanted to start this career path and I was starting fresh again, I would probably just go and email every single biohazard company in my area and just ask for an interview. When you look up companies, you're probably going to find a lot of restoration companies and they can kind of be hit or miss, but they're definitely worth checking out. If you end up going with a restoration company, it's still not a bad option because you're going to learn a lot of new and actual relevant skills in these companies that can take you pretty far as well. If you go with a dedicated death slash hoarding cleanup company, you're going to spend a lot more time doing actual death cleanup, but the chances of getting hired in these companies are very small because the companies themselves are very small and they aren't typically hiring for full-time positions, but there are a good amount of companies that do hire for that type of work. And your best option is to just start out doing the manual grunt labor work with the like hoarding and the mold cleanup and then work your way up to those lucrative death cleanup type of jobs. Over time, you're going to show competence with your boss and he's going to trust you to take on more of those bigger death cleanup type of jobs down the line. So that's what I would recommend if you really want to get into this career path. It's not easy work and it's not even easy trying to get a job like this, but if you do, it can be really rewarding and I wish you guys all the best. So good luck.